Despite an exchange of some heavy artillery, it looks like a wider conflict between Israel and Hezbollah has actually been tamped down. Both sides are claiming victory after yesterday's attacks. Here's Danielle Hamanjen with more from Israel. 24 hours after the fact and it's back to normal here. It's always a bit of a strange normal in the Middle East. It was all over really yesterday by the time most people woke up. The first wave of Israeli jets deployed at 4.30 in the morning, targeting a number of Hezbollah facilities in southern Lebanon. 20 minutes later, the second wave of Israeli jets bombed a number, thousands they said, of rocket launchers that were aimed and pointed at Israel. Now, Hezbollah is rejecting this version of events. They said that they were able to launch 340 rockets at Israel. Their target, the initial target, about a dozen military bases in northern Israel. In doing so, they were able to distract the Iron Dome and were able to launch drones deeper into Israel. Their target, the Glilot military base near Tel Aviv. And why this military base specifically? Because they say it is home to Unit 8200, an intelligence branch of the Israeli military, they say is linked to the assassination of Fouad Shukur, who was a Hezbollah commander assassinated by Israel last month in Beirut. Both sides claiming victory here. Israel says the Hezbollah was hit, the, the strikes were failed attempts, nothing was damaged, but they're both able to declare victory, but with Hassan Nasrallah, the head of Hezbollah, now saying that it's mission complete, but this was only phase one which begs the question, what could come next? Danielle Hamanjan, NBC News, Jerusalem. Meanwhile, Israel is apparently planning to send troops to a town in the Gaza Strip that has so far been spared much of the violence, telling people there to evacuate.